Hey people, it's the girl SK. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Y'all, I'm in Halston. I am at one, one stop. I'm actually gonna go and get a Jamaican patty. Yeah, oh, is it push? Can he fit? Yeah. Oh, left. Oh, okay. Before you see what you're putting me through. <laughs> I forget how your day is. Oh, gosh. I know, yes. Yeah, so they have a lot of patties. And they have. What is we? Fritters? Yeah. So I'm gonna get. Try this. I don't want that. But I'm gonna get that. Shrimp? Pepper shrimp, you and you. No, 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 no. Yeah, but it's pepper shrimp. I just want patty. Yes, yeah, so they have yeah, the coconut drops, peanut ones, pepper shrimp. I'm gonna get one of these. This is so big. Yeah, but do they have cocoa bread? They got cake as well. Yeah, they have cake as well. Yeah, so it's been a while since I got some Jamaican goodies. So I only come to Hazel to get like my seasonings and stuff like that. So um, I'll take you guys in the shop with me. But so hungry and I'll be dying for Jamaican patties so, and a cocoa bread. So I'm going to do that and get some coconut drops. And, yeah. All right. So see y'all in a bit. You okay, Rivi? Yeah, look how much my cocoa bread. I buy it and then I have... This is what's left of my cocoa bread. Yummy. You guys so quiet, yeah? You see Aki? No. Stick to the plan. I only come to get seasonings. Oh, while I'm here, I could probably get some cream crackers. I can get two packs of cream crackers. Let me see how much is a Milo because Milo it's like four pounds, four ninety nine. Milo, just expensive everywhere, huh? Five pounds for Milo. No, it's crazy. You see how much for? You see how much for Milo, Melissa? Five pounds. What? Whoa, five ninety nine is for the Milo. Boy, was some say four ninety nine? What? So four ninety nine for this. $5.99 for this. Isn't it the same thing? It was one bigger? Who says $4.99? Oh yeah, yeah. And the price on it. That's one slightly smaller. That's smaller? Yeah, but look, this isn't one's it? smaller than that. I mean, I'm gonna take a pass on the Milo, a hard pass. <laughs> because I am not buying Milo for five pounds. I'm gonna stick to buying hot chocolates, right? From the UK. Yeah, so I'm here by the seasonings. Chicken. I need curry. Where's the better pack? Oh, here. How much for um, the better pack? Is this for a better me, price? Me no duck, co goat, curry. Where they put duck and goat as well? One twenty-nine. Okay, I'll get two of the chief. Melissa um, said this is good because the better pack seem very pricey. Eight for the nine for a pack of curry that hardly having anything. This is what they use in Jamaica, the better pack, which is a great curry. But they don't have the small better pack, do they? I want to see the big one. I don't need. Oh wait, is this it? No, this is different. This says golden tropical. It's something like better packs, Jamaican as well. And this is Jamaican curry powder. I'll try this chief one. Yeah, let's try this chief one. You okay, Riv? Say hello, Riv. Hello. Why are you so quiet, Riv? <laughs> I need a lemon pepper, but I don't need a big bottle. Yeah, where's the lemon pepper? I don't want a big one, though. This is a small one, then. Oh, I didn't see. So I'll get this lemon pepper. Come here. This is what you tell me about to put on your bagel. This. No. Look at great. That's know, not it. I never see that now. Oh, because it actually has like bagel, bagel on it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, lime pepper. Yeah, I saw that as well. Look at this lime. I've never seen lime pepper. I know about lemon pepper, but lime pepper. That's different. 
three six nine. I need garlic. Is it? I need garlic powder, but I don't want a big one. If it ain't small. Okay. Oh, they have onion, like onion salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, do onion that's salt. That's nice. That should be nice. Yeah. Should be salty. Yeah, let's get onion. Let but where's the garlic? Tip tip that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, they have a eat. fried rice too. How much for it? Here it is oh, onion called, salt. Mm, what, nine. Um. Yeah. Oh. oh no. It's not entered down on though. No. <laughs> <laughs> no one this one. This says two sixty nine. Why well, didn't one say four something? Because it's garlic salt, not garlic powder. Salt oh, for beer, citrus salt. What's all of these? Citrus salt, onion, orange pepper, orange pepper, for orange chicken. Yeah, it's garlic onion, right? Yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, I'm getting this. I saw a recipe from TikTok that ha that called for this chili and lime. Oh yeah. Um, what else? Chocolate sprinkles, coriander. I have all of these already. Ham seasoning. Okay. Tuscan. Fourteen spices. What's in it? This is interesting. It's salt free. Let's see what's in it. It doesn't have what's in it. And I don't have time to read it. Because <laughs> I want to know what the 14 spices be. Boho rub. Alright, sir. What I want to get as well is bun. I want to see what kind of Easter bun they have. Easter is coming up and you know it's traditional to have Easter bun. That's when they probably have the good buns out. So I'm going to see if um they have that. Melissa, you could get a Dutch pot from here. I know. I don't know how much they're selling them for. Look at these. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how much for them though. Dutch pot, yeah. Nice little Dutch use. Oh, it feel, it feel heavy too a bit. But, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Look at this, so like I see Brillo. Yeah, yes, it's actually Brillo. It's to discover these same parts. <laughs> yeah, it's to discover them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah. carbolic soap. Why oh, you use yes. carbolic Let's soap for again? Molisa. What's the okay. carbolic soap blue for again? You know, in the back, we put in a. Oh, blue soap. Yeah, it's washing baby clothes, I mean. Uh. Is it good for white clothes? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to get one. How much for one? <laughs> no, actually, I'll get two. What's the carbolic soap for though? For beard with. Beard? Does it bleach out your skin? No, sir. Does it not? No, sir. I don't remember using carbolic. Guys, this is good to wash white clothes with. I haven't seen this in years. I haven't used this in years. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. The pack here for um, a pool. Oh, one ninety nine. Oh, might as well just pick up the pack because... And then I'm coming. Yeah. one ninety nine for a pack of three. So it's probably more expensive if you buy them single. Fruit cake. Oh, I didn't know you had fruit cake mix. Wow. Fine. And now we get like the course. One nineteen. Get the one over one. Fine corn meal. I'm gonna see. Wait, how much is it? Cause that depends. For the bulla, okay. Cornbread. So I need to get some bun. Okay. So we have giant. We got giant bread. And we got some bulla. We got. Oh, we have. We have. We have some giant bread and some ginger bulla. <laughs> um, Melissa, you not getting any bread? Where did you see the price for the bulla though? Not that one. It's not this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. The small one. Yeah. Oh, the ginger bulla. Yeah, yeah. You want another? Alright, this one. This one's tasty. Then another here. Why? Well, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. No, I think I don't know how to do it. Chiffon butter. Oh, which one is a Nikki? Chiffon butter. 
Oh. If I buy this, I would have to get like chicken butter. I can't eat it just like that. So if you see the chicken butter here, and nobody. I like, think they not they sell chicken butter. Yeah. Nobody like these things in my house. So. But I wonder which bread is good. Tasty. Tasty could never Our be better national. than giant. You crazy? National bread, nice. It is the best it's bread. Making this make in Jamaica? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I remember this nutted bread. Pizza, bread to cook two pizza, you know? Yeah. I know. Yeah, but I don't have the time to boil like what? a real pizza. Pressure it, pressure it. I mean, I pressure just... It. We don't do that no more. What? Pressure <laughs> We don't do them things no more. Oh, look at one right here. But this is why the boy from Asta. It's no different. There's no money here, Melissa. Mm-hmm. National. That's exactly why I pick it up because uh, I know I have I just buy from Asda for three something. Yeah, they have national. This is what I normally get from Asda. Four twenty nine is for it here, which is more money. So guys, I came to Asda and I just wanted to show you guys the same bun, three pounds sixty pence. Here it is, same spice bun. Yeah. National is I mean I'm gonna pass. I think this but, shop I mean, here that's for but this one is somebody just like that it. one. I mean somebody can't buy me this. It's not $8.99. I mean I love bun but not enough to buy it for nine pounds. It's too much. Then we will put it like that because Easter coming up is that's not a price. That's why I say happy Easter. That's not a yeah, I won't do it then. <coughs> Y'all ain't gonna catch me then. Mm -hmm. Oh, Melissa, isn't this what we used to buy in Jamaica though? The small ones. The small little buns. Yeah. I used to eat this half by myself. It is one ninety nine. For those of you guys that are in Jamaica, how much is this bun? I don't remember. The last time I was down there, it's probably like a hundred dollars. Jamaican dollars and I know that was a long time ago so comment below and tell me how much is this small national bun yeah let's move on my son is so patient hello Rivi he's very very patient um let me see I think they used to have kiss cake you know but do you guys have any kiss cakes no okay they don't have kiss cake Look at this tasty rock cake. You know all them? Yeah. Coconut. Let's do a festival now. Look at this coconut. The coconut. Um, I think we do press festival. Turn over. Yeah, festival? To make festival? I don't need anything else from here. Yeah. Festival? No, I could make festival from scratch. You can make it from scratch? Yeah, just a bunch of caramel and sugar and stuff. Yeah. They're, not, they're not getting my money. Yeah. How much for that? What's your banana chip? I mean, for the most three pounds, I'm gonna say no. I've been here a few times, right? If y'all haven't watched like previous vlogs, if you're new here, I've been to this specific shop a few times and I remember losing my mind and over these things, right? And spending a lot of money. Every time I came here, I would spend like my budget would be like a, like a hundred pounds in buying things that just it's just way too much money, like it's not. It's just like overpriced because they know that you can't get it from anywhere else. So this time I'm more like calm and I'm like not losing my mind because these stores do make you spend a lot of money and because they know that we want these things because we can't get them, they just, just jack up the price. So I'm not doing that. They have here though, they have like the DNG drinks. I don't know how much, what's the them? Two, four. 239 okay what else they have here cow foot um is this some is this um heron it look like smoked heron and then this is the pigtail but well, it comes like this um like in a red dye i don't want any pigtail though right let me see i do need a vanilla essence though i need a proper vanilla essence benjamin so bad dear I don't know but they did oh Dominican style imitation vanilla Dominican style I might get this why is this the only one here though where are they I'm gonna try this this is concentrated mixed essence 
but I'm gonna try the Badia. I'm gonna try this one. This might be very nice. Yeah, let's get this one. Uh, yeah. Actually, I need a baking powder. I don't have any more baking powder. Okay. Nestle sweet milk. So expensive. Two pounds for that. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Go buy the fruits. Y'all see me? This is me. <laughs> Coconut. Um. Oh, they have avocado for three pounds something. Oh my gosh. Three something. Two something avocado. Three different prices. Three nineteen. Two. Three something. Yeah. You ever make sorrel? No, never. And I will never. I don't love sorrel that much, to be honest. Oh wow! I never see. So look here. These big? Yeah. So long. I see these big ones. We have mini ones here in the shop that stop about here. Yeah. Wow. Fanta. I haven't had Fanta in quite a while. Um. Yeah. Let me see what the mangoes looking like though. I don't. Oh, you finish? She outside? I didn't know you finish. They have mangoes here. Jamaican mangoes. Eleven ninety nine a box. I don't need any mango either. I think I'm done. So let's see how much this is gonna come up to. Because I don't know. When I get home, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I did buy in here. Because uh, as I said, I was only coming for a couple of seasonings. Um, that's it because I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, they have jackfruit here. I haven't had jackfruit in a long time. Six pounds. Six pounds. Twenty nine pence. For this tiny piece of jackfruit like this is a hard no i'm sorry i cannot see i'll tell you that they just jack up the prices over here and i won't fall victim to that i am sorry like it's an oh stop right here sorry oh they have eggnog i can get yeah okay okay i'm gonna get probably one pound 19 pence for an eggnog i'll pick up some eggnog actually that's fine because i like eggnog so yeah um that's me done melissa is down there with her auntie and the baby <laughs> shopping melissa i'm gonna cash out now i'm cashing out now yeah really hi baby he's still so quiet y'all <laughs> six seven pounds for a can of aki <gasps> now i'm the fifth five pounds for the big one so yeah it's more pricey over here so i'm not gonna get it because i can get aki from asda anyways i'll catch you guys in a bit so let me go and cash out <laughs> Why? Sorry. Cash Can you guys see me? Let me see if I turn on the light. This is better though. Is it better? Oh yeah, this is better. Turn on the light. Okay. So anyways, y'all. Hi. It is the very next day. And I just wanted to show you guys just the few little things that I did get because I know while shopping things are just like crazy crazy because y'all seen so many things on the shelf so I actually got like two bags worth and it came up to 30 pounds 33 pounds yeah and that's the thing about living abroad I think I mentioned that they jack up these prices because they know that we can't do any better you know so I got this Shaquille already blessed it already and she opened it so I got this giant bread it's a national national um, sliced bread I got that hard dough bread it expires in April <laughs> yeah so I got that how much was this bread I don't even know they don't even give like so 
the receipts I don't even think I got a receipt but they don't you don't get like the individual prices of the items because of how they do things so they're like the ones punching in the prices themselves as opposed to scanning it in so that's what it end up robbing you as well so it's like best when you go to those Caribbean shops when you see the price on the shelf to add them up yourself so that it match up with what they're telling you to pay you know what I mean so yeah I have this bread and I did show you guys like this these little um coconut drop thingies I got two of them they're so big if you can see look at them and I ate one already. <laughs> I ate one already yeah so good it's really good from one stop and um, I actually got a patty from there yesterday the Caribbean shop that I show you guys where I got the patties from but I was kind of disappointed it like didn't have a lot of beef in it and I got um, a cocoa bread as well so we normally put the patty in the cocoa bread and when I opened the cocoa bread the cocoa bread had butter in it like I don't know if that's a thing but I've never had a buttered cocoa bread before and what they do is put it in the microwave to warm it up i don't know it just wasn't it wasn't given yesterday so yeah so i got this bulla for two pounds 20. i ended up getting this one um how with, much for the patty with five <laughs> the patty was four pounds shot for four for two pounds 20 pence for five bullas ginger bullas so i got that and I got like some national cream crackers as well. I got two of these. Four pounds in the pack, yeah, two cream crackers. Um, I got some St. Mary's banana chips. It's not really for me. I'm not really. Sean, shut up. <laughs> I'm not really a banana chips kind of girl. I like planting chips though. Um, so I got these for Sean really because he likes banana chips. Shall you like the St. Mary's one though? Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, really? They're yeah, whatever? Is it not the best brand? Uh, I'm not a big, 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 um oh yeah i did get a receipt yesterday oh my gosh they're doing this now i take back what i said they're giving receipts no oh wow so you can see the prices you know what i'll put the price on the screen or should i yeah yeah i'll put the price on the screen for you guys because i have the receipt here so i'll put all the individual prices on there um yeah so I was, oh wow i got three banana chips not two so i got three banana chips not two and i also got some cheese crunchies some excel cheese crunchies so i got two of these if you can see yeah i got two of these real cheese the cheese biscuits i don't know if you guys remember them dry. they're dry Oh wow. Anyways. Not two. Cheese. But isn't it the same? Cheese crunchies? Look, it's it's excelsior. I got them for you. <laughs> here I you know, here I am. Say I'm a surprise Sean with these little knickknacks, right? And he telling me them dry. Are they dry? Are these dry? Oh my gosh, I'll, well, I'll be the judge of that. And I got a corn meal as well, a Dunge River corn meal. Um, okay. <laughs> it might be nice. I didn't want to get a big pack, so I got a small pack of corn meal. Are they dry for real, Sean? But it's Excelsior. Excelsior is a great brand. To me, they are. See, when we, when, 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 we, when, we, when we younger grew up in Jamaica, it's, it's what we used to, and you know. Until you go uh, foreign and try new yeah, things. Yeah, what well, we used to and it was the best then. But then, you know, you come a foreign and you start eat cheese its and all them nice things. Then oh, then American you know, is cheese its them. You talk about American. Yeah, cheese its it's, it's a worldwide brand. But these things, after I revisit them, after many years, it's disappointing. Them dry. You know, I buy them in Miami and I try it. I'm like, that should through the window. 
Well, I me mean, never. I didn't Sean, throw it to the window. Don't be dramatic. I put it in the trash. But, wow. you know, them, you know, but maybe these nice. Maybe, maybe the ones maybe. you got was stale. Yeah, yeah. This maybe, baking powder. This maybe is not Jamaica. Nice. Um, and I don't know if you remember this, Sean. You ever see this seasoning? Ginger garlic pimento seasoning. No, I'm gonna watch that. Yet. How nice! It's so good. Well, I don't know if it's good, but I could imagine because we cook with a lot of ginger, we cook with a lot of garlic and pimento. Like ginger, garlic, and pimento are the main ingredients in my chicken dishes. You know what I mean? Okay. So to have the seasoning, it might be nice. So we have that. That's one bag empty. I got this Badia Vanilla Essence. It says imitation vanilla, Dominican style. But it might be nice. I'm gonna let me smell it. I'm gonna smell it because sometimes these are nice. It says imitation because it's probably like not like the raw thing. Okay, smell it. Yeah, it might. It smell nice. It smell nice. I'll let you guys know how it is. It's, it was for three forty nine. Um. They may not bad though, they're good. Send me one of the chips. Yeah, most people prefer these. They're, yeah. they're nice. What's they're the good. other brand? There's another one, the St. Mary's, and yeah, then there's. there's... Another, yeah, there's another one, but that's more expensive. Chippies? What's chippies? I think it's probably chippies. chippies? But they're not good, man. They're good. They're not bad. They're not bad. I got a complete seasoning. It's a badia. I don't think they don't have like Jamaican. Like, they have like the other. They have a lot of Jamaican. Um, other like little powder seasonings, but I find them very pricey. I'm gonna show you the picture of the jackfruit that they were trying to sell for six pounds. Some shine, it smells like so, and that, it looks stainy, stainy. That's like a rotten for them. Six pounds. Six pounds. That, that's like a rotten for them. I got egg. I got eggnog. I didn't want to buy the big bottle, so the big box. So I just got two small eggnogs. I love eggnog. Um, was it made in Jamaica though? No, Morocco? No. I don't know where this Yes it is! Here you go, no! It says manufacturer manufactured for Ciprod Limited. Kingston, Jamaica. Three Felix Fox Boulevard. It was it was um Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't say that it was it's not a product of Jamaica, it's manufactured. Yeah, it's a product of Jamaica. Well, okay, alright, cool. See, Miracle. Y'all know the Miracle brand. Well. It says pre it says premium eggnog. Premium stuff, y'all. <laughs> we getting the premium stuff over here. <laughs> I got this. I actually and I saw somebody use this chili and lime. Y'all ever see chili and lime seasoning? other than lemon pepper because I got a lemon pepper as well so I got this lemon pepper and also there's lime pepper really? yeah green I was like wow there's orange as well C-H-I-L-E? Yeah. chili C-H-I-L-L-I -L -L -I, no? <laughs> sorry I should know how to spell it but and I got an onion salt I never used onion salt before but I got that and then I was gonna get better pack curry, but Sean, you didn't want to see the price for the better pack. Y'all saw when I was thinking, if, if y'all don't remember, you could probably go back to the, the beginning of the video. Melissa said this is all we used to use back in Anguilla, but I don't remember. But it looked nice and rich though. Yeah, curry. Yeah, curry, um, curry. Let me see where is it from though. Hold on, I'm gonna tell y'all, is this a product of India or something? Trinidad, big girl, Trinidad. This is a Trinidadian curry. And they yeah, yeah. curry people. <laughs> I didn't, but we curry people. Too, you know what I mean, Sean? Yeah, I know. We love curry. Yeah, that's what love, I mean. I didn't mean it in no way like we oh, love curry people. That's what it means, you know, yeah. it's like it's a big dish like curry. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, a product of Trinidad. Any Trinidadians that's watching my vlogs, comment below if you're from Trinidad. But yeah, chief curry, and it was one twenty nine for one. So I got two. Because I wasn't sure how nice it would be. The better pack curry was like nine pounds or ten pounds or something. And I'm like, I love curry, but there's good curry abroad as well. That we normally get. Pack? The better pack was like for the small better pack, I think it was almost like five pounds. Rip off. Rip off. It, it was expensive. Rip I'll have off. to go back to the beginning of the video to like check, but it was very expensive. Rip off. And then the big pack was almost ten pounds. Rip off. I'm like, what the heck? Feel because about curry. Because when I buy like a proper bag of big, big pack of Indian curry, 
I uh, pay like three, three something. Come on, rip off. You know, off. and we love the curry that we normally buy. So I'm like, I'm not spending. I was trying to tell him yesterday, Sean, that the first time I went to the Caribbean shop, I remember I lost my mind. Remember, like, oh my god, this, oh my gosh, and I buy so much stuff in it, and I spend almost a hundred pounds. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, I've just been going wild in this store because it's been so long since I've seen Jamaican products. Things I actually grow up on. And I didn't know this existed. It's a half an hour from me. But I was up this time. I'm like, y'all ain't gonna rip me off. So a lot of things I chose not to buy. I even wanted to get a bun. You know how much I saw a bun, Sean? Like 10 pounds. For the for, big, for the big, the bun. big bun, rip off, rip off, and rip it was off. like honey, the honey bun. I don't know if National make it a yum one of them, and the one from that, and I'm the boy from as the yummy one. And guess what? That bun that they're selling, they probably had that bun from two east ago <laughs> in that shop. You understand? Probably dry, you know. And guess what? It's a cake soap. Oh my oh yeah this is what we used to call it i was trying to remember because i'm like blue soap it is cake soap so i got this ready it was 1.99 gentle on hand can we bathe with it as well yeah it said gentle on hand so actually it says for clean fresh lot is is not for bathing sean Yeah, I don't want to know what Sean is whispering in my ears. I'm going to tell them. He said Titans up down there. Yeah, you make that up just now, right? I didn't say that. You said that. I said that. Y'all don't know Sean. I don't think that Sean is. <laughs> Sean be standing here looking all like this fine young man. Like, you know, quiet. And Y'all don't know Sean or no? Y'all don't know Sean. So this is Jamaican Blue Power Antibacterial. It's an antibacterial laundry soap. So how come them call it cake soap? Where the cake soap come in? Cause not none they say not more no cake. You say big bar of soap. Why is it cake they soap? Say, they say the big tough bar of soap. Because it's a bar, but all I soaps know. come as in a bar, know, like it's baby can yam. Comment below and tell me why in Jamaica this blue soap is called cake soap. But yeah, it's apparently really good for white clothes to wash white clothes. Cause it even say on here eliminates the need for bleach. So yeah, we're gonna see. So I'm gonna Rub up our white clothes and stuff and make it soak. But how are we gonna soak? Bucket. Ah, lead oh, back so to the olden days. So. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for the. the bullet, tell them about the bullet. Yeah, I did tell them about the bulla. That we got five bullets for two pounds twenty. Dry too. It's ginger bulla. Probably dry. I pick up another one. So I take a show you guys a different one. It was like a big, some big bullets, but I was like, maybe to get this one. Listen, here's my thing with these Caribbean stores. You understand? A lot of them. They're rip offs, right? Rip off, especially when you come over here. It's the far away you go from Jamaica, the more them rip you off, right? At least in Miami, it's only like an hour drive from Jamaica, so hour For, drive, uh, hour, hour flight, you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a quick little thing, so they don't rip you off that much over there. The prices are pretty fair, but you know, nine hours from Jamaica, oh yeah, you're getting it. That's really they're, bad. They're, they'll rip you off, and, and trust me, these Buddha and all these things. Them stump on the shelf for years. Then they wanna sell big price, you know what I mean? But I mean fair price anyway, at least two 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 twenty for some bull of fear. That's fair, that's good price, that's not bad price. But you have some things that they wanna sell it. How much of the patty? The patty was four pounds. Four pounds for 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 one for one patty. For right? one dry patty. For one patty, four pounds. That's 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 rip off. Me can't love and patty two, so much. And two pounds fifty for the cocoa bread. No, you can't tell me some love patty that much, I'll pay four pounds. Like for one tired patty. And this was three pounds. This was three pounds. I mean this yeah, is that's, big. That's, yeah, that's fair. You see how big yeah, this is? This it's big, very big. Yeah, yeah, this can knock out somebody. This big. <laughs> so this this Fear price, fear price. But sometimes I wanna charge you some crazy price because you know what I mean I guess some people go crazy for Caribbean stuff, but after a while, if you live abroad, you just have to get you just have to you know get acquainted to the stuff that's abroad, man. 79 pence for one of the banana chips. 75 pence? 79 pence. So three was for two pounds thirty seven. That's that's good Special price. Special offer. That's, that's, fear. that's fear, that's fear, that's fear, that's good price. The trees the cheese crunches and was 59 pence. Yeah, that's a good price. 50, yeah. 
But yeah, I realized that everything is just super overpriced. When I went through the Caribbean no, those, shop yeah, Those things are fair. Those good prices. But some things, they just want to rip you off. Yeah. They just want to rip you off. That is why when people go to Jamaica, they come back up with a bunch of stuff. You know, just to get them taste of home for cheap. You know what I mean? Instead of going over here and buying all these expensive stuff. So you see why when people go home, they request for these things for people to bring up. Anyways, if you are here, I want to send me a box of stuff. I never I never request for anything. You know? Neither, because it's nice to get I a piece of home, anything. you know? You know, people go to Jamaica, they're like, Sean, what do you want? Nothing? Nothing. What? Nothing. You understand? Good, because, you know, it's... When I'm in Jamaica, if I go to Jamaica, I, I, I eat the Jamaica stuff. If I'm overseas, I get used to whatever it is. You know what I mean? I, I don't think it's realistic to move from England and still I eat Jamaican products. You but move, you're a Jamaican. You're, yeah, but you're in England now. Yeah, but I'm never gonna eat like you British understand? like so stuff you know, like branch branch out a little. I have. You know, and a lot of these but things. Some things are, are, you still are, want a taste even, of home. Even a brand like Badia, right? Badia it's, expensive. It's, 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 it's exactly. I mean, it's it's not as expensive as when you're trying to get some Jamaican products. Though. Yeah. These are uh, it's comparable. Better. They're they're good. Not not necessarily better, but that's why I didn't kill myself yesterday to get the like Jamaican brand and stuff. Yeah. Like if I could get something else cheaper, you always go to try these things because you never know, and you might be like onto something. Like it might be nice, but yeah, I'm not killing myself to buy up a bunch of. Don't even stuff. get me started on oxtail. Yeah, right? and people are kill up themselves over the fatty tail. It's just the oxtail yeah. prices sky high. I remember I could have cooked oxtail often, and Good when bar. you see the price and the amount of oxtail you get in, it's like, yeah, it's not worth it. It becomes like a it's like a treat now, like once a month type of thing. Like we wait for pay to buy a tail piece of oxtail. <laughs> it's like, and you ask the prop, you ask, you ask the question like. <laughs> Why is ox steel so expensive? And they want to tell you that, oh, because the animal only have one tail, right? <laughs> okay, all right, cool. But way, way back in the day, that stuff was scrap, it right? Was, it was. That stuff was considered scrap. No, it's like a delicacy. But because the Jamaicans and a lot of other Caribbean countries, a lot of people, even, 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 even Spanish, a lot of people start to, you know, jump and, you know, the demand get high. Oh, yeah, yeah. Demand get high for it, and so you like, know. We need to jack up the price. So now the we? price, you know, get get super high, and of course you can say it's it's it's, it's you know it's it's supply and demand, but I don't think it's supply and demand. I think it's just a way to price gouge, right? Because people love it so much, and it's now considered a delicacy in in, in many in many cultures, so that they're they're taking advantage. But really and truly, some people like yeah, I'm I'm not the one. To take advantage but of how because much you place food? I don't buy it. It's probably almost ten pounds if you buy it up here from a shop, like probably I, like I, seven, I, eight I, pounds. I don't buy it at the restaurant, and I don't, and I don't buy it in in the supermarket because I believe that I'm being taken advantage of. Robbed. Because the price is is, is is too much for a fatty tail. That's what I call it, <laughs> fatty tail, right? <laughs> so. That's just what it is. But that's just my two 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 cents. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rant every day. Anyways, y'all, I am about to go and make some breakfast. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the little things that I got and whatever. I'll put the price on the screen or I probably I have already done so. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to this little mini shopping haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Either way, don't forget to drop a like, a comment and turn on your post notifications and hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Alright? So yeah, catch you guys in a, catch you guys in another vlog and yeah, thanks for watching again. Bye. Bye.